A startling statement from Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has come to light. He said doctors found an abnormality on his brain scans in 2010 that was, quote, caused by a worm that got into my brain and ate a portion of it and then died. The quote is from new reporting by The New York Times. Yeah, the Times says that Kennedy made the statement during a deposition as part of his divorce proceeding back in 2012. He was describing experiencing severe memory loss and mental fogginess a couple years before that. He said that he has fully re he says that he's fully recovered from the parasite and that he has no after effects. Of course, a lot of questions about this. We have CNN's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, joining us. You're a neurosurgeon, Sanjay. You've actually operated yeah. on these kinds of cases when it comes to these parasitic worms and their removal. Uh, tell us about this. It's not that common. It, it's not that common, although it, it does happen. Typically, it starts off from people that may have e eaten uh, pork that is undercooked and the little eggs or larvae, they can get into the food supply. Ultimately, if that, those get into your bloodstream, they can travel all over the body. Um, and, and, and this does happen, especially in places where those types of eating habits are more common. Um, let me show you an image of this, so just so you have a visual of, of what we're talking about here. You imagine this tiny little um, egg, little larvae, gets into areas of the body, in this case the brain, and they may grow a little bit. Uh, those are the purple spots you're, you're seeing there in the brain. Uh, sometimes they won't cause any symptoms at all. People won't even know that they have them. Sometimes people might have headaches. Sometimes people could develop seizures. It's not really associated with brain fog or, or memory problems uh, per se, but they can be problematic. A lot of times there's nothing to do about it. They're not causing symptoms. Sometimes there's medications, parasitic medications, or sometimes you have to do an operation, as, as you mentioned. And you know, here's a brain model here, so you can imagine that sort of near the surface of the brain, if you had one of these cysts, you'd make a little bony opening in the skull and basically remove that cyst, which, which sort of represents this, this parasite. And that is sometimes necessary as well. So, it does happen. It is rare. I think you don't really describe it as having eaten the brain as much as sort of living there in the brain and possibly causing these problems.